Bickley and Marotta. Bickley and Marotta mornings. Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Bickley Blast. We have become very skeptical and very cynical in this country. Easy access to information has convinced us that we know everything. And in a world full of scandal and misinformation, none of us dare to appear naive or foolish. But maybe all of this social media love being showered on Kyler Murray is not a conspiracy or a smokescreen before he's traded. Maybe it's 100% legitimate, real Cupid arrow kind of stuff. And maybe it's the key to everything. Because remember, Kyler Murray learned not to trust the previous regime. Remember how awkward it felt at the press conference celebrating his brand new contract? Of course you do, because there was no celebration at all. Remember all the contentiousness with his agent, Eric Burkhart. Remember all the anonymous stuff that suspiciously leaked from the front office, stuff designed to point the finger at Murray and not at the head coach or GM. In the end, Murray saw all of it and he was very right to have trust issues. Now, I guarantee some Cardinal fans will think this is soft, that Murray must need kid glove coddling, or maybe it's just smart business, like attending a statue ceremony in Oklahoma, because Murray trusted this regime and this offense to finally start taking snaps from under center, and as that trust grows, logic tells you, so will Murray's stature as a franchise quarterback. Not a bad plan, if you believe it, and clearly the best option the Cardinals have in 2024. All right, today's Bickley Blast brought to you by my great friends at Chapman BMW who make luxury attainable. Find them online at chapmanbmw.com. I mean, the quarterback position, hey, it's it's a it's a hard position to evaluate. It is, and that's why, you know, I'd say the history of the draft is that there is there's guys that hit and there's guys that don't. And so, you know, when it comes to I think anytime we talk about the quarterback position, uh, anytime we talk about accuracy and decision making, those are going to be the top of my list when it comes to a quarterback. So, you know, I think there's a lot of things that go into what makes a good quarterback quarterback, um, not only the on-field, but the off-field. Um, but, you know, I think that's why that position is such a challenging evaluation for a lot of people well, in the league. Monty Osenfort, the GM, talking in Indianapolis yesterday overall, how he evaluates the quarterback position, not specific to Kyler Murray. Now, he was asked another question on the quarterback position during that media session, Vic, and the question was, hey, uh, what does it feel like to be one of the teams that's not in need of a quarterback right now because of Kyler Murray's situation? I think it's a good position to be in. You know, I think uh, the way Kyler came back at the end of the year um, gave us all a lot of confidence. The, the way the offense hit their stride, both running the football, throwing the football, um, and just getting Kyler's health ha uh, back to a point where he could use his legs, use his arms, do the things that we're accustomed to seeing. So, you know, I think, um, as always, we're going to evaluate every position that comes in the draft, but, you know, no Knowing that Kyler is where he's at and not only where he's at but getting better and seeing him work and progress the way he is, I think it's an exciting spot to be in. Yeah. Now, yeah, now one of my takeaways watching and listening to Monty Austin Fort and Jonathan Gannon at the Combine in Indianapolis yesterday, and I wrote about it today on ArizonaSports.com, is just this feeling that kind of phase two has now begun for the Arizona Cardinals, that now now JG steps back, now Monty Austin Fort steps forward, and now he's got to really kind of take all these puzzle pieces that he has, all these draft picks that he has and, and he's he's got to make some stuff happen you've got to really hit in this draft um a, a, because of the expectations and because of what you built on and, and and there's a sense now that the that the owner has got to step up and spend money i've seen various figures but the cardinals appear to have about 59 and a half million dollars of salary cap space uh, the salary cap has gone up, and this is the time to invest, and Michael Bidwell told us during his visit on Newsmakers that he intends on doing that, that it's going to be up to Monty to spend the money wisely. Okay, so we've got all that happening, and now you've got the quarterback piece. Uh, what's, what's interesting about Kyler Murray, and I think this is going to be uh, fundamental to everything, is how does Kyler Murray feel now that he's kind of proven he can play the game again? Uh, we we know what he did during rehab and was was top notch elite was there every day um, worked at it maybe his return took longer than some people wanted but once he returned there was no hesitation in fact that first game back we were all raving at about how he just let it rip mm -hmm. and and so the question now becomes okay now that Kyler Murray has kind of eased that 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 belief oh can he come back okay he did he proved he can and he proved he's a very good quarterback. 
what what, what does this offseason feel like? Does it have the same um, hunger and the same work first at all times approach? I hope it does. I suspect it does. What you're hearing from the leaders of the team confirm that it does. Mm-hmm. But this stuff, it, it motivation, you, motiv- you don't get a badge that, that shows people how motivated you are. It's internal. It's intrinsic. Yeah, I mean, I think it, that's the way Kyler Murray needs to approach this offseason because he did get a lot of kudos, and rightfully so, for the way he handled that rehab. And it wasn't just – you know, the media stories, and it wasn't just the coaches. It was his teammates. And, and D.J. Humphreys talked about uh, – and D.J. Humphreys has a unique perspective. He's been here Kyler Murray's entire career blocking for him, but they're going through rehab at the same time, and he saw the work that, that Kyler mm-hmm. put in. Uh, now the knee is sound, and like you said, Kyler Murray has proven, again, that he can play the game and he can make adjustments to that game while coming back from an injury. But that same hunger that he had in trying to get the knee right – that's what he needs to have in, in getting even more acclimated yep. and entrenched in this offense. Yeah, exactly. It's internal. <laughs> Thank Just you, like well. you said. Yes, it's internal. Uh, do, you, do you think the bar is that we have to see the best Kyler Murray this season that we've seen so far in the NFL? That if we don't? That, we, that if we don't see the best version so far that – we don't know what what the ceiling is if we'll, he'll ever get it. What is what? Well, let's establish what what is the best version we've seen of Kyler no, Murray. I, listen, Was it the I, ten I, and two yeah, start. Yeah, that I, that part of that. Yeah, season. no, I, I think I think even though you're kind of stumbling on your verbiage there, ferret. I think <laughs> I, I I think you're well, right on the no. I think you're right on the money. I think you're right on the money. This is the year Kyler Murray's got experience. Yeah. He's healthy. He's got an offense off that he can succeed in, and then he's got this whole off season to make it happen. This has got to be the superstar year for Kyler Murray, or well, it's not going to happen. That's what I was so, saying. But you're right on the money. I think that's exactly accurate, and and I hope that Kyler Murray sees that the same way. Yeah, uh, more basically, and he's going to have new toys to play with too. And if the Cardinals do get Marvin Harrison Jr. at number four or a top-flight wide receiver and Kyler Murray takes a step back, that might be all the impetus that this organization needs to, to move forward. And next year we're not seeing those tweets well, coming from the social media department. So maybe this is a very cogent, smart plan to – Okay, let's make sure we support Kyler Murray in everything, from social media posts to statue unveilings to everything. Showing up at his birthday party. Right. right. We don't want him to— Watching his dog. (laughs) Well, no, it's true. We don't want him to have any excuses why he didn't succeed this season. Right, and then then you build the perfect ecosystem around him. I I mean, there have been rumblings that the Cardinals are going to go wide receiver tackle— and I'm assuming it's offensive tackle. It might be defensive tackle. But my point is, is if they do that, they are clearly building everything around him to take out all variables, to give him 100% comfort level. Because mm-hmm. with 100% comfort level you would and a very good offensive system, you would think the Cardinals have enough quarterback. That's what he's got to prove this year. Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.